Hi there, my name is Brent. I'm the CEO and lead developer of Lost Abroad, hence the shirt. Uh, over the past year, I have made a couple Reddit posts about our experience launching a Unity developed game on the Epic Game Store and what a massive headache it has caused. I get pretty frequent new comments and DMs asking for help from other game devs. And to be honest, there still aren't a lot of good resources to help with this and the documentation. Uh, if you're watching this video, you know the documentation is bad. So I'll move on. I figured I would just be the person to share what I've learned and what our process is. So in this particular video, we're gonna go over how to download the build the Epic build patch tool, how to use it to upload a build, and then how to actually submit a build for review on the Epic Game Store. And then in future videos, we'll start going over how to implement the Epic Online Services C Sharp SDK and use it for authentication, stats, achievements, and more if there's a demand for it. So I'll go ahead and get started. Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions or other things that you would like to learn. All right, so let's get started. What you want to do is log in to your Epic Developer Portal, go into the game that you want to upload, go to Epic Games Store, Artifacts and Binaries, and right here is where you're going to download the Build Patch tool. Once that's downloaded, I've started an example folder here. I've started a Unity project. I'm just going to drag in everything that's in that zip file that you download off of the developer portal. And then I'm just going to open up the instructions to show you a few, a few things later. Then I'm going to create two new folders, one called build root, and then another one called cloud dir. And both of these are going to be used by the build patch tool in a little bit. Next up, I'm going to go into my Unity project. This is just a completely empty Unity project. I'm going to build a Windows build, and I'm going to build it to that build root. Let that run. And then once it's done, let's take a look at that build root. It creates five files, and the most important one to take note of is the exe, which is typically your project name.exe. We're going to need that for later. Now let's go back, go into engine, go into binaries, choose the current system that you're working on, not what you're building for, but what you're currently working on. And then copy that, uh, that location on your computer. Go into your search bar, open up a command prompt. Uh, on Windows, you type CMD. Then in here, you want to type CD space and then paste in that location that you just copied. Now, next up, what you need to do to actually use the build patch tool is here in the instructions, there's a bunch of different pieces of information you need in order to run it. So I'm going to show you where you get all of these pieces of information. So we're going to go back to the artifacts and binaries from the developer portal. For the build that you want to do, uh, in this case, I have both the main one and a demo. Go to the three dots, click on manage artifact. And then there's an artifact ID sitting right there in the middle. And I'll close out of this, go back to my organization, go to organization, and then go to settings. And here is where you're going to find the organization ID, also right in the middle of the screen. For the next pieces, go back into your game, go to product settings. And then it's on this very first tab here, SDK credentials. So you've got your product ID, client ID, client secret, and the application ID. So that covers the first sequence of pieces of information you'll need. The build root is going to be the full location of your build root folder that you already created. And then cloud dir is going to be the same thing. It's going to be the full location.
the build version is going to be whatever you want to call it, you know, v0.01 test app launch. This is just the name of your exe. So this will be, you don't need the full path to it. You'll just put in, in this case, example unity project.exe. Typically what I'll do is I'll write all of these things in notepad first. So I've put in buildpatchtool.exe, organization ID, product ID, artifact ID, client ID, client secret, that full build root, the full cloudder build version, in this case, version 0.01.test, and then the app launch example unity project.exe. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this and then go back into that command prompt that I had created, paste it in, and press enter. Now I'm not actually gonna upload this because this is an example. These aren't my real product IDs, artifact IDs, but I'm gonna show you what happens next after you press enter and it goes through a little sequence and it'll tell you the archive has succeeded. Once it has, go back into your dev portal, go back to Epic Game Store, artifacts and binaries within your game, go back into Manage Artifact. And then if you scroll down, the artifact that you just uploaded is gonna be in the inactive binaries. So here you see I uploaded this version 0.01 test. On here, you can click on the three dots and you've got the option to assign platforms. So in this case, this is gonna be what you built it for. So I built it for Windows. If you built a Mac, build, then you'll assign it to Mac. You can save changes. I'm not actually going to save this. I'll discard them, but you would say you would actually save changes. From there, now you have to go to release management because right now it's just in dev. So go to push to stage, go and check the artifact that you just uploaded the build to. And then if there's actually been changes, you'll be able to click on push to stage here. It'll take a minute or so to actually push it to stage. And then once it's ready, you'll be able to submit it for review to Epic for actual launch on the Epic Game Store. All right, thanks for watching part one. I hope this was useful for you and you were able to upload your build to the Epic Game Store and submit it for review. As we go into part two, we're gonna implement the Epic Online Services C-Sharp SDK and use it for login and authentication. I'll see you then.